KLIF Dallas Fort Worth. That hopefully will satisfy the FCC that that's a legal ID. That will have to do it for right now because there are tornadic thunderstorms and there is damage in the Dallas Fort Worth area because of at least three because of at least three tornadoes reported on the ground. Brad? Yes, we just now have another storm spotter in the field, I-20 and uh, Anglin Drive. I-20 and Anglin Drive. Uh, this may have been a larger tornado at one time, but it's kind of a rope tornado right now in southeast uh, Tarrant County. Uh, again, moving up toward Arlington. A very dangerous situation now. I got to, We are... I, I'm sorry, Brad. I've got Jim Ryan on the phone, and he's looking at one right now. Okay. Uh, Hello, Jim. You're on the air. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm looking uh, back toward Lake Arlington. I said he's on I-20 and now back toward Lake Arlington. I can see uh, movement, rotation, lowering down to those clouds, uh, looking very ominous in a funnel that does dip down out of those clouds down toward the Lake Arlington area. So uh, definitely a threat around Lake Arlington. All right. Jim Ryan, WBAP and KLIF News. It's 133, back to the Weather Center and Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton. Okay, uh, the, oh my, we are getting some glimpses of this tornado in southeast Dallas County. It is moving through areas of warehouses and truck stops, and it is wiping out billboards, trailers, rooftops, awnings, parking areas, massive debris. It looks like maybe 70 feet into the air right around the truck stops this tornado on the ground near the wilmer hutchins area i-45 and i-20 a massive a massive uh, funnel cloud a massive tornado that has lifted huge 18 wheeler trailers 50 to 75 feet in the air just within the last few minutes. This is a tornado warning until 1.45, I'm sorry, until 2.15 now in eastern Dallas County. Tornado warning until 2.15 for eastern Tarrant County and until 2 o'clock for northwestern Tarrant County. The, the uh, storm that we've been, that seems to be doing the greatest deal of damage right now is uh, moving up toward Oh, kind of toward the uh, Mesquite area and headed on a track possibly up toward Garland within the next few minutes. This storm has just wiped out a bunch of trailers, possibly trucks as well, in the area of the truck stops around I-45 and Interstate 20. It is still on the ground. It is still deadly dangerous and uh, moving to the northeast right now. Occasionally it's roped out and then it's gotten bigger into a wedge and we have seen debris probably 75 to 100 feet in the air including huge semi-trailers whole being tossed around by this uh, tornado just within the last three minutes. Also a very dangerous situation right now in eastern Tarrant County where a storm is active in the Arlington area moving up from Mansfield to Arlington. This, let me get you the latest on this storm. Moving north-northeast at 20 miles per hour. It's on top, it looks like, between Ar Lake Arlington and the central section of Arlington. Very close to UTA right now. And it's going to be moving on up uh, into the HEB area, possibly up toward Grapevine. Could be a direct strike on DFW Airport. And then extending that on up through northwest Dallas County through Coppell. That's the way this storm appears to be moving right now in Tarrant County. Sounding the sirens. Sirens are being sounded in Arlington right now. Tornado warnings in eastern Tarrant County and eastern Dallas County underway.